And um, recently at the press junket for the Ant-Man movie, which is not even out yet. I don't think it comes out for about a month, but they do this stuff early. But Kevin Feige, uh, the, pretty much the guy who spearheaded almost all of the Marvel stuff that's going on right now uh, through Phase 1 through all of it, um, came out and he was asked a bunch of questions about Spider-Man because there's been a lot of things happening. So by now we all know the rumors are confirmed. Uh, Sony is going to let Marvel use Spider-Man. Uh, pretty much a lot of the money will get kicked because back to Sony. Because they can't do anything with Spider-Man themselves. Probably. Well, that's true. That's true. And so a lot of the money probably get kicked back, but it'll be, it'll be really, really cool to see one of the iconic Kick back characters. Because this is all like a big Ponzi scheme. Oh, kind of yeah, Clearly. but um, but it'll be uh, it'll be really nice to see one of the iconic Marvel characters join the real Marvel universe. It really sucks that we'll never see that happen with any of the X Men ever. That will never ever happen. But yeah, what can you do? Um, and we also know who's going to be playing Spider Man. It's going to be, I believe, is a British actor. Which come on, two British actors in a row. Uh, oh no, two British actors, bad. Tom it's so Holland terrible. We must have an actor from every country and the U.S. fifty million no, times. No, just the U.S. It, it's you know he's an American. All right, why can't I? Why can't I not expect an American to play the part? Because you're a jerk. No, no, I'm not. I'm Brian, not. let let it go. The I War don't of 1812 wanna... was over a hundred years ago. We've been allies. Really, for it was over centuries years ago. Yes, over a hundred. No, you said it was over a hundred years ago. Like it was over comma hundred. It ended a hundred years ago, is what you said, and it's really it did end two. over a hundred years ago. No, 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 no. You didn't it's say actually it been over two hundred years right, now. But why, why are you derailing all the subjects? Man? You do this recently. You just derail all the movie subjects. So let's because we're done, it's more interesting. That we're going to talk about something else. All right, let's move on to TV. We totally derailed our subject. Now I can't even talk about it. Because I try to I try to get into stuff, and you just like, hey, let me just talk about anything else except for what <laughs> topic Brian wants to talk about. So Netflix. War is... of 1812 still a really big like stickler for you, isn't it? That that it got you flustered. <laughs> <laughs> there, was, there, there was no reason for that tangent. There was none at all. There was no reason for a War of 1812 tangent. All right, I'm going to restart the segment because I do want to talk about this. All right, so here's the cut, and so. Recently at the press junket for the Ant-Man movie, we, Kevin Feige was asked a bunch of questions about Spider-Man. And so we got a lot of new details about what the Marvel Comics, or I always say Marvel Comics, Marvel Cinematic Universe spider mans going to look like. So by now we all know the rumors are true. He's coming over from Sony. And we've also gotten a conf- confirmation on who that actor will be. And it's Tom Holland will be playing the actor. And he is a British actor. I believe, um, and Brendan apparently does not like him because of the War of 1812, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> we'll keep going. I'm fine with him. Okay, um, so I'm fine. Playing, You're the one that's problem. He'll be playing the role of Spider-Man, and our first appearance we will get of Spider-Man will actually be in Captain America, the Civil War. Um, so it, they let out a little uh, other details. So, okay, so there's not going to be any origin story, but we are going to be getting a standalone movie in 2017, July 2017. So... I'm glad that we won't get an origin story, but um, yeah, well, not no buts. Cool, uh, I'm down for it. Yeah, it seems to be the new trend. They're, they've they've realized people don't care as much about the origin stories anymore. Like they needed that initially to introduce people to comics, but the comic book movies. But now it's like in, whatever. These are other characters. Go figure it out yourself. Yeah. You just want to see. You're yeah, doing stuff now. Pretty much. Yeah, and so his really the the introduction to Spider Man, who's going to be in the MCU, is going to happen in um, the Civil War. So we're going to see Spider Man kind of look at these heroes who have already existed after he's already gotten his power. So he comes in and he's kind of deciding if he wants to be like one of these groups of guys or the other group of guys because they're going to be fighting each other. That's why it's called Civil War, or like none of them. So it's going to be kind of interesting. Um, Kevin Feige kind of said that this might be a traumatic experience for Spider-Man because not like in the comics where he's an adult and he kind of picks a side and that's where it was so stupid that he ripped off his own mask. I couldn't believe they did that. That was it. It didn't make sense. Not for Spider-Man. Come on. Spider-Man was like the least likely person to show off who he was. Yeah. After Gwen yeah. Stacy died. Thank you. I mean, that was like his identity and they're like, oh, we're just going to change it. Okay, sweet. Uh, no, no, <laughs> actually, to be fair, 
there was like an alternate version of Spider-Man where he was like just out in the open the whole time about it. So, but that's not. Let's this not Spider-Man. talk about the cartoon. That's a different. It's another stuff too. Yeah, but that's that's a different universe, the cartoon yeah, yeah. universe. But uh, yeah, so I think it's in the comics too, and some of them, mm-hmm. the older ones. And so he decided which of the heroes he likes to be with, uh, he wants to be like, or does he want to be like none of them? So that'll be interesting. And then he was also saying that for the Spider-Man solo film, it won't really be solo. It'll be Iron Man kind of testing him slash bringing him along um, just to kind of see if he is Avenger material. I think they've used Iron Man for this purpose enough times now. Like I, I I know Iron Man did really well for you guys, but let's let's use another hero to introduce another hero. Well, what other time did he do it? He was in uh he was in Hulk. The remake of Hulk and he's He was like at the very end, the little little tw- twenty second thing that they do at yeah, the Yeah, but that was still movies. their their thing. They're like Okay, that's one time. One. Every other one. <laughs> okay. So that was one time. And well, was Captain like, America, something. he's like there by proxy because it's his father giving him all the stuff. Really? Yep. By proxy now is what you're doing. That's what I'm doing. Proxy. Okay, by proxy. He was there because he wasn't even born yet, but he was in this character story. In Avengers. Yeah. He's there. So. What, Avengers, <laughs> yeah, of course Avengers. <laughs> he's like a main character of Avengers. What other relevant movies are there with him? With a, the Marvel Thor, Thor's not relevant. Thor, yeah. Um, there's plenty of other ones. Uh, now I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, all see, right. that's it. That's, no, they, but they Captain America one does totally doesn't count. He wasn't at all in Captain America two. Uh, he wasn't at all in Thor two or one. He wasn't at all in. I'm saying he, he's being used to introduce these characters as know. help to to motivate people to go see it or whatever. That they put them in the. Yeah, but not really, because he put him at the end of Hulk, so he did not introduce Hulk at yeah, all. Yeah, but he was in the trailers. Damn it, Brittany, you did it again. <laughs> you just totally derailed the topic, man. Why do you keep doing that? Why don't you just roll with it? <laughs> Off into this new course. I'm not derailing. I'm just changing no, the rails. You derailed it. Now I have no idea where There was already going track with laid that way. All right, well, now what I was going with, uh, it doesn't make any sense because we were going to talk about <laughs> if we're, we like the direction that Spider Man is going in. Now we have to talk about Iron Man, whether we like <laughs> every character. That was not what we were going to be talking about. We were going to talk about Spider Man, but now we're talking about Iron Man. <laughs> you have to we totally change Spider-Man. the main topic. And it's then we had to talk about the War of 1812 just a little <laughs> bit ago. It's like you can't decide what you want to talk about. This would be a good podcast, but it really screws up the YouTube part of it. Does it? Does it? I think people would enjoy this. They Are like you, Iron Man. You cut it That's off, why man. they keep using Iron Man to introduce all these characters. It's true. Like people Spider-Man. like Iron Man. But people like Spider-Man, I want to say, more than they like Iron Man. At least They should like Spider-Man friends. more. They should. He's a better character. He's absolutely. Did you know that Iron Man was designed to be an unlikable character that everyone well, would like? He was an alcoholic for the first like twenty years of his existence. So, well, he was also just like you know he's the super rich, capitalist, jerk. self-centered jerk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So he was he was designed to be an yeah, unlikable Spider-Man character. And Spider Man was designed to be the everyman, mm. well, every teenager, I should say. But yeah. So I'm excited to see the new Spider Man movie. We've gone on too long about this. Hit us up. Let us know. Are you excited to see the new Spider Man? Do you not like that Iron Man introduces a bunch of characters? Because Brendan apparently hates Iron Man, hates Robert Downey Jr., and hates Marvel Comics uh, Cinematic Universe. So I don't know why. Brendan, tell him why you hate it in comments because. down below. So <laughs> hit us up at, at Words for My Face on Twitter, Google Plus, Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. Okay.